G'day, I'm Jacob from Make Science Fun. Thanks for joining me today. This is my assistant Sam. Hi Sam. Hello. Today we're having a competition between Stembite from the US of A and Make Science Fun from Australia. Go, America. Oh Sam, that's not very patriotic. You need to go for Australia. Bye. Whoever finds the most magnets and magnetic fields around the house wins. There's different types of magnets. There's permanent magnets, and this one's shaped like a horseshoe. And permanent magnets can be found in direct current motors. This is a motor out of a toy car. And there's magnets in loudspeakers as well. And then there's electromagnets. When you pass a current of electricity through the wire, it makes that nail magnetic. Electromagnets can be found in transformers, like in this charger from your mobile phone. Electromagnets can be found in alternating current motors like this fan. So come join me as I go around the house with Sam and count how many magnets and electromagnets we can find. Let's go. Ah, this mobile phone's got a motor in it that causes it to vibrate. It's got a microphone and a speaker which both use magnets. And it's got an antenna that uses electromagnetic radiation. Another phone. More microphones, more speakers. Phone charger, Dad. Oh, how many chargers there are around the house? I just can't count them all. And another phone. Ha ha, TVs have got speakers in them. Whoa, this DVD player's got a motor. The stereo, it's got seven speakers. It's got motors, it's got an antenna. At least ten things to do with electromagnetism and magnets. Whoa, washing machine, big electromagnetic motor. Microwaves are packed with magnets and electromagnets. There's a motor to turn the food around. There's a motor on the fan. There's a magnetron, which produces the electromagnetic microwaves. Mix masters and blenders have got motors in them. Ovens and range hoods have got motors in them. Oh, and on a fridge, of course, there's lots of magnets. Woohoo! And even the motor in the fridge has got a magnet. And a dishwasher's got a motor with lots of magnets. And the coffee frother has got a motor. And the exhaust fan in the bathroom uses electromagnetism. And hair dryers have got motors. Computers are packed with electromagnetism and magnets. For the speakers, for the hard drives, for recording the information. Without magnetism, we wouldn't have computers. And toys. There's magnets on the train so that they join together. There's magnets in the motor. And my workshop. <laughs> Packed with electric motors. Every electric tool would basically have some form of magnet or electromagnet in it. I can't keep count of how many magnets I've got. Surely I've got more magnets and electromagnetism than Andrew's from Stembite's house in America. The Batmobile, turbo up my dragon, huge speakers, drills, transformers. They all need electromagnetism and magnets. I've got magnets on the shelves. I've got chargers and motors. Ah, I can't actually keep count of them all. I'm sure I've got more magnets than Andrew from Stembite. If you want to learn more about magnets, you've got to check out Rhythmetric's new song, Strongest Magnets in the World. Like poles repel and it's undeniable Unlike poles attract, it's just incredible Magnets push and pull with force invisible Magic magnetism, magic magnetism Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Like poles repel and it's undeniable Unlike poles attract, it's just incredible Magnets push and pull with force invisible Magic magnetism, magic magnetism